Welcome friends, this is Under the Arch Sports. I'm Eric, and today we're going to take a look back at the St. Louis Cardinals' 17 games in 17 days. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook and Instagram. The St. Louis Cardinals have just come off a stretch of 17 games in 17 days. The only day off in that stretch was a rainout, and you know they had the doubleheader against New York coming off of that. This, this could be a stretch that we look back at uh, when we get to September, and this could be a turning point or the stretch to put the Cardinals over the finish line. Coming into this, the St. Louis Cardinals were 8-10, and 10, and a lot of people were very, very concerned. The Cardinals now sit at 21-14, and 14, meaning in this 17-game stretch without a scheduled off day, the Cardinals went 13-4. and four. I don't think anybody saw that coming. Cardinals are sitting at 21 and 14, like I said. The only team in baseball with a better record, the Boston Red Sox, a whole one game better. What, what's that mean? One, there's a lot of parody that 21 and 14 is the best record in the National League. That's a good record. It's an even 600 winning percentage. This early, I think you'd expect. So, uh, so some teams to be off to more than a, more than a hotter start than that. But, you know, with the Dodgers kind of falling off the face of the earth for a, a minute here, Cardinals are it, uh, in, at least in the National League. Like I said, parity. The Rockies are the only team that's not at like, a, I believe, like a 424, I want to say, winning percentage in the National League. I could be wrong. The point is the Rockies are the only team in the NL that are straight up horrendous. Uh it, it, why is this happening? Well, let's look at pitching first. In this 17-game stretch, the St. Louis Cardinals, as a, as a team, gave up more than five runs twice. That's it. They had more games giving up three or less than they did five or more. That's, uh, that's it right there. Um... You know, some of these teams, yeah, they're not that good, but, you know, you shut out Colorado two out of three games, that's good no matter who, who it's against, right? Yeah, the, so the, the Cardinals are just getting outstanding pitching and the offense coming to life. The The team batting average has ballooned up to 236. Not great, at least by historical standards, but... That is climbing. That's, I want to say it's like a nine-point jump. It is it is improving. You know, especially after the like second week, it was 221. They're, they're figuring it out. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt, his average was down in, in the 230s. He is at least coming back, back to life a little bit. His average is at back up to 246. So not great, but improving. Yadi Molina, the Cardinals did this. Let's not forget, Yadi Molina was on the, the, the IL for a lot of this. He came back, and he's still doing Yadi things, batting 329 right now. Dylan Carlson is becoming a force. He's batting 303. Uh, I think just as important, getting Harrison Bader back, getting Tyler O'Neill back, they've been in the lineup. That gives you a super athletic uh, outfield as we talked about before. But offensively, they're not black holes like they have been at times in the past. Right now, Harrison Bader is hitting 250. I mean, yes, it's limited at-bats uh, compared to everybody else, but, you know, that's that's better than it's been. If he can, if he can hold 250, maybe creep up 260, if he can hold that, that's fine, particularly with his defense. Similar, situa similar situation with Tyler O'Neill. He is batting 241. Uh, at bats, not as limited as Bader, but that's a little bit better than it's been, uh, especially compared to the, the beginning of the season, how, how terrible he was at the start. So having those guys be mediocre is, well, frankly, that's improvement. And that's important given the capabilities you see out of Goldie and Arenado, 
Tommy Edmonds still batting 289. Had himself a, a hitting streak come to an end. Um, the Cardinals are doing a lot of things well. That's really all it comes down to. And you, know, you, you look at the, the pitching, going back to that. Sunday, Sunday's performance from Adam Wainwright. Eight and a third, you know, gave him a shot for the complete game shutout. Didn't work out, but an outstanding performance there. It's, the, the pitching has figured out, and that's important. I, frankly, Miles Michaelis is coming back. Doesn't matter to me. I, I don't know that I want Miles Michaelis back in the rotation. Who's he going to replace? I know, I know it. The answer is going to be John Gant, but that's crazy in my mind. He's ERA going off the top of my head here. I'm pretty sure it is below two and a half. How do you take that out of the rotation? You can't do it. You're not taking Wayne right out. You know, only only possibility would be Carlos Martinez, but he looks to have figured it out. Like I said, everybody is playing well right now, so. I guess, I don't know. We'll see what when we get to that point and Michaelis is healthy and ready to go. Um, as for the Cardinals coming up this coming week, well, Monday is an off day. Yeah, finally for the Cardinals. Um, after that, hit, hitting the road to Milwaukee for a big series there. And then going to head out to San Diego, take on the Padres. See... Uh, See how good they are. Uh, it's weird to see big series against the Padres, you know? Not not a sentence you're used to saying. But here we are. Um, you know, looking at the, at the NL Central, over the past week, things have kind of adjusted to about what you would have expected. You know, the Cardinals are in first place, two games clear of the Brewers. And you know, that's why this series coming up here is big. Battle for first place, potentially. Now, you know, the Cubs, third place. The Reds, falling back down to earth in fourth place, where a lot of people expected. And now the Pirates are in last place, where the entire world expected them. So, yeah, you could say order has been restored to the NL Central. Um, everybody's about where they were expected to be. Uh, so, we'll see if that continues. We'll see if... St. Louis Cardinals can keep playing ridiculous baseball. And, uh, yeah, that's all I've got. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you keep an eye out for uh, everything from Under the Arch Sports. More Cardinals, Blues, playoffs are getting ready to start here, and Mizzou. Thanks for checking out this video. See you next time.